Rachel. It all seemed to happen at once. My girlfriend moved in with me. Home. <laughs> One thing led to another. I'm pregnant. <laughs> and then, the really big news. Wow. You are having a little boy. If I was going to be a father to a son, he needed me to be a man. And I didn't feel like one. You're actually a woman trapped in the body of a man, and I've thought that for a long time. You didn't strike me as a dude. You were warm and open. You were almost like a chick. My father, my older brother, they were real men. And I there. wasn't. There. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the face that I've been presenting to the world is I'm a sweet, sensitive guy. Inside of me is this person who's fucking mad that I'm that guy. Put him up. So I began doing things, anything, to find the man in me. Make sure you take a risk a day, like you actually strap on balls that scare the shit out of you and do something. I don't think I'm bleeding or anything, but just hit me hard. Holy shit, you are. No, no, no! Guess what? What? Your grandma. Oh my god! He's so oh. beautiful. Did you poop it again? Now there's a kid. Can't be a kid because there's a kid. And then all of a sudden, bullshit's out the window. When you keep saying that you're not man enough, how am I supposed to feel? What does that mean about me or for us? All my life, I'd run away from the man my father was. But now that I was a father, I had to stop running. What you have is you never lose it, Dave. If you went and got ambitious, and you went after making a lot of money, and you would therefore have to go after the discipline and the arrogance to make it happen, he'd be right. The question is, have you found a better path, or are you simply just not being him and fucking up your life because you're trying not to be him? You are your parents. So if you can't forgive them, who are you having a problem with? You're going to have a problem with yourself. Take me there, Dad. Let's go. Here, why don't we just put the umbrella down, seriously? Take it with, I need it. You I don't need it. it, it's hardly raining, it's in the way. If this equipment stops working because of the rain, you know who's gonna get blamed. Yeah, you. You picked a bad day. Did you feel close to your dad? No, he was a difficult person to get close to. In what way? Every way, he was cold, he was rigid. At times he was nasty to his wife and to his children. What did he sound like? Yeah, like you said in the house. You didn't like the way he sounded. God damn it! God damn it! Stop yelling! I'm your son! God damn it! I know, I know, baby doll, right here. Right here. I wanted to be a different man than my father. But what kind of man was that? I have huge anxiety about the fact that, okay, I'm doing a good job with Gabriel, now what about having a career? You obviously want to do something. You're making a movie. You're trying to impress people. You might be more driving for status in the traditional male competitive way than you acknowledge. I think you have more male qualities than you think you have, but I think it's the limited definition of what male was and is that trips us up. Once you don't feel threatened about your identity, then you're a man. It has nothing to do with the masculine side of it or anything. It just has something to do with you being comfortable with who you are. 